Hey y'all, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. I just noticed something I wanted to share with y'all. Beware the cheap knockoff TPS, okay? Uh, this is a $10 TPS that I got for a demo video, and it functions, but I'm going to show you something interesting about it. And here is the real manufacturer's TPS. It's the same style, um, which is much more expensive. I think this particular one was $200 uh, from the manufacturer's, the Polaris. This one's on a KTM, but they're very similar. Uh, in particular, this one uses a mechanical wiper. Watch our How a TPS Works video, and I'll show you the insides of that. I believe this one is a Hall Effect type, which uses magnets. The advantage of this one is that there's no mechanical rubbing, no parts to wear out. However, it's affected by magnets, and that may or may not be a problem for you. Um, and again, the older style, the mechanical wipers, they have got them down to a science. They last a long time. They work really well, so I wouldn't shy away from one of those at all. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our meter here. Okay, now this... Plug into this guy here, and I can see this particular throttle body is set to 0.53, that's fine. And as you open and close the throttle, you see the readings change, that's fine. Now I've got here a pretty strong magnet. I'm going to get this near the sensor, and look, the reading doesn't change at all. That's correct, okay? Now watch this. I'm going to move my meter over here to the cheaper TPS, the $10 version, which I believe is a Hall Effect version. Okay, this one's set to 0.729, which is fine. And notice that as I open and close the throttle, it's going to behave as it should. It appears to work properly. However, if I take this magnet, get this magnet near it, look what happens to the reading. It can go up if I rotate the magnet. It goes down to zero. So as I rotate the magnet, it even changes the reading. So again, the way a Hall Effect sensor works is it uses magnetic fields, and it senses a magnetic field. So there's probably a magnet inside here and a Hall Effect sensor, and as you rotate the throttle, it's going to sense the position of the magnet, and it's going to change the reading, which is fine. Again, the advantage is there's not a mechanical part to wear out, but you can see this may not be a desirable thing. It also makes it hard when you're setting the TPS, because this is a, a magnetic screwdriver. Even just getting the screwdriver near the screw can change the reading quite a bit. See there? Just put on the screws if I'm going to tighten the screw, and look how much the reading jumps. And so that's something to be aware of. Uh, whether you, whether it's going to work for you or not, maybe I'm not going to make that judgment. I'm just saying this is something to be aware of. And again, I'll go back to the, the KTM. And again, put the magnet next to it. No change in reading. I'll take the screwdriver. Put the screwdriver. Very much significantly less effect. Almost nothing. Okay, so I hope this helped someone I thought was interesting. And uh, please leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much.